In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a pinch pot. The first step is to get your clay ready by pounding your clay into the ball. Pound it into a circle. You want to start with a amount of clay about the size of an apple. Once your ball of clay is about ready, you're going to put the hole in it by inserting one thumb straight down into your ball of clay, about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. Now I'm going to be, this is step three, I'm going to begin pinching the pot by using my thumb on the inside and my fingers on the outside. I'm putting most of my force on the bottom to make the bottom of the pot th thin first. Then I'm going to work my way up. In addition to pinching the bottom, I'm also going to form it as well and to make sure that it's round. You should go over and over multiple times and make sure that you have even pressure throughout the whole process. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what your pot should look like at the end of these steps. Now we're going to move on to step four, which is building and making the walls stretch up. I'm going to use two thumbs on the outside and two th fingers on the inside. I'm going to push my thumbs into my fingers. I'm going to make sure that I have even pressure as well and make sure that my fingers are going to the inside so that it doesn't become too wide. You want to make sure that you go around and around the piece with even pressure. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside, pressing upwards. What this does is it thins out the walls and it makes the clay stretch up. It makes the pinch pot taller. Now I've gotten it about the general size that I want, but I'm using my fingers to kind of reform the pot into the correct shape. My hand, my right hand is supporting the outside and my left hand is on the inside molding it. Now I'm putting on some finishing touches, getting the rim the way that I want and making it the appropriate size. Here I'm using my thumbs on the outside and my fingers on the inside and I'm using my thumbs to pinch in and move together so that it narrows the top of the pinch pot. This makes the rim smaller and makes it less wide. And I'm going doing this around and around to make sure that it's even and symmetrical all the way. Going around and I'm perfecting the form a little bit more with my right hand on the outside and my left on the inside, pressing into my hand. So there we go, that's a pretty good pinch pot. Now here I'm gonna make the rim of the pinch pot even. So I'm using my needle tool and I'm going all the way through to the other side and I'm moving the pot around and around. So I'm making an even rim. I'm cutting the little top portion off. I didn't go quite all the way through, so that's why I'm going another time all the way around. Okay, so now that I have it cut, I'm just going to try to make it smooth by using my fingers to smooth it out. You can also use a wet sponge to lightly go around the rim in order to make it smooth. This next step is to make sure that your walls are even, just to make sure that you have made a good pinch pot. You're gonna do this the very first pinch pot you make so that you can check it off by me to see if you've got the technique down. So I'm using the needle tool to cut it around, all the way around, and you can see here that my walls are even. It's even and consistent all the way around. So that's what it should look like at the end. Two sides, evenly matched, and now you'll be ready to create your final pinch pots. 